Here are my top questions on pigmentation removal, the removal of freckles, sunspots and melasma. First up we have, is it permanent? Unfortunately, pigmentation can come back very easily if you expose the treated area to sunlight. So since daylight is sunlight, and if you had pigmentation removed on your face, the likelihood of your facial area getting exposed to sunlight is quite high. So this means that the pigment on your face will more than likely come back quite easily. On the other hand, if you have a body area treated like chest or arms, and you happen to cover that up all the time if you're exposed to sunlight, well, the chances of that pigmentation coming back is quite slim but you have to remember to cover that area from sun exposure. Now it's not good enough to wear a sunscreen on the area to prevent the pigmentation from coming back. You must cover the area when uh, exposed to sunlight because a sunscreen is actually just a screen, it's not a sunblock. So wearing a sunblock is not sufficient to prevent the pigmentation from coming back. So it means you have to do your part at preventing the pigmentation from coming back, especially on facial areas, by avoiding sun exposure, wearing a wide brimmed hat, and also wearing a daily sunscreen, even in wintertime, to prevent the pigmentation from coming back. So how does the laser work to remove sunspots and freckles? Well, we do two types of laser in our clinic. First of all, we have the limelight, which is an IPL system, and this heats up the pigmentation and fragments it, and that fragmented pigment will uh, shed and flake away about seven to 10 days later. On the other hand, if you have pigmentation that is too pale in color and is not suitable for IPL, you can have a laser resurfacing treatment done. And that literally burns off the top layer of skin and makes new skin grow. It takes about five days for the new skin to grow and that's when you will see the result. So the laser resurfacing treatment would be an ablative invasive laser, unlike the Limelight IPL, which is not an ablative invasive treatment. So how does laser remove freckles and sunspots? Well, at my skin clinic, we have two types of laser for removing pigmentation. Limelight is suitable for medium to dark colored pigment. It's not suitable for very pale pigment. The Limelight IPL is absorbed into the dark pigmentation. It heats it up and it fragments and breaks it up. And the fragmented pigmentation then flakes off seven to 10 days later. That's a non-ablative, non-invasive procedure for pigmentation removal. But Limelight only works on very dark pigmentation or medium toned pigment. It does not work on the paler, lighter colored pigmentation. So the options for treating the paler pigmentation would be a resurfacing laser peel. And that peels away the top layer of skin and a new layer of skin will grow within four or five days afterwards. Now that resurfacing laser would be an ablative invasive laser procedure and not your first choice for pigment removal ideally. Since the resurfacing laser has four to five days downtime with it, it's an easier choice to choose the Limelight IPL for pigment removal if you're suitable for the Limelight. How safe is Limelight IPL? For safety reasons, a patch test is absolutely necessary with Limelight IPL because it's a heat treatment and you don't want to burn the skin. Limelight has a very short wavelength, so it's absorbed very superficially into the surface of the skin and it's absorbed by pigment. So you have to have a patch test before you have a full procedure done. And by having a patch test, it helps to safeguard your skin for the treatment. Another most important reason why a limelight patch test is essential is because we need to determine that you are responding favorably to the patch test and that your pigment is indeed responding well to the treatment and fading nicely. To know that you are responding to the limelight treatment, your pigment will darken very shortly after the treatment and it'll flake away seven to 10 days later. If your pigment is not darkening after your patch test, you will need to come back and have a repeat patch test. More than one patch test might be required with the limelight treatment because pale pigment requires very high energy settings, whilst dark pigment requires very low energy settings. And in a patch test, we only have the opportunity to deliver one or two pulses of uh, laser light and therefore it might not be sufficient in order to get a favorable response. So is laser and IPL treatment suitable for removing freckles and sunspots on darker skin types or black skin? Unfortunately, darker Asian and black skin is not suitable for laser or IPL pigmentation removal. However, darker skin types can have chemical peels to lighten and fade pigmentation instead. So what creams are on the market that you could use at home to help to fade and lighten your pigmentation? Well, if you were to attend a dermatologist, she could prescribe a bleaching cream that would contain hydroquinone in it. Now, you will need to closely monitor the skin with using that particular cream because there are some risks and considerations with that. Of course, it's a prescription product. 
There are over-the-counter creams that help to inhibit the production of pigment in the skin by dampening down the enzymes that would be responsible for pigment production. So they can help somewhat. The most important thing that you can do to help prevent pigmentation is to wear a daily sunscreen, uh, avoid sun exposure, and if you are on a sunny holiday and you are prone to pigmentation, wear a very wide brimmed hat. Not just a peaked hat, a very wide brimmed hat to avoid sun exposure. What areas on the face and body can be treated? Well, obviously, most people get pigmentation on their face, so freckles, sunspots, melasma can be removed from the face with either IPL or a laser. We also do IPL on body areas like the arms, the legs, chest and the back, so many areas can be treated with IPL. Uh, resurfacing laser wouldn't be done on large areas because it's too uncomfortable and it's too invasive. Of course, everyone wants to know how painful the laser pigment removal treatment is. Well, because the Limelight IPL has a very short wavelength and it is so superficially absorbed into the skin, there is an element of discomfort with it. Now, if it's a small area that you're having treated, well, that's very tolerable. However, if you are having a full facial area treated for pigment removal, well, there is more discomfort with that. On the other hand, if you're having a laser resurfacing treatment, like the pearl laser for pigment removal, we would typically uh, use some numbing cream prior to that treatment. If it's a small one-off freckle that we're treating, we wouldn't need numbing cream. But certainly if it's a large area, you would definitely need numbing cream for a resurfacing laser because it is more ablative and invasive. I hope that answers all your questions on laser and IPL pigment removal.